So when I was a freshman in high school, I experienced one of the most embarrassing days of my life. I had to present a project in front of a classroom, and I remember being so nervous and so embarrassed that I actually ran out of the classroom. And on that day, fear won the battle. But today, I can grab fear by the horns, and I can say that I am a confident, self-assured entrepreneur. I'm Louis Mora, founder of Moral Communications, and I'm here to talk about my training course, VLC, which stands for Vision, Leadership, and Communication. So our mission at Moral Communications is to empower high school students with confidence for communication and collaboration. But before I move on, I want to identify the problem. So how many people here went to college or are currently college students right now? Can you show me a raise of hands? So that's the majority of the room, right? So how many people here tonight, when you were a freshman in college, had to present a, uh, a major presentation, a speech, and was not nervous at all? <laughs> that's quite the shift in hand, right? And that's exactly the problem. High school students lack confidence and communication skills needed for college success and workforce readiness. So what is gonna make a college student stand out in the crowd? Or better yet, when a college student applies for jobs from their seniors, what is gonna make that student stand out from the thousands of people applying for that same job? Or even if they do get the job, communication skills and confidence can help them in their career. So VLC, again, stands for Vision, Leadership, and Communication. And this is a 12-hour training course, so it's two hours a week for six weeks. And we work with our clients, so it's six to 10 students per course. And we work with our students and clients, and we train them with self-confidence, communication skills, critical thinking, and media literacy. And I've done a similar program to this for the past six years. I started as a student and worked my way up to a teacher. And some of the practices that I've incorporated, I'm gonna bring it right into, LV, into VLC. So our target customers, are high school students in the Boston metro area. But I realized that the high school students are not gonna be the ones paying for the service. It's the parents. <laughs> so we have to target the parents as much as the students. And there is also opportunity for growth with potential partnerships with schools and tutoring companies. Graduates of the course can, be, can become certified VLC trainers by taking advanced courses. So if people take the VLC course, we'll invite the best of the best and we'll, train them, and we'll train them to become employees of more communications, which can help the company expand. So our market fit. Uh, in this school year, 2013 to 2014, Massachusetts currently has 287,748 high school students in public schools. The goal for more communications is in five years to be serving 1% of those students. That doesn't sound like a lot, but I'll do the math for you guys. That's approximately 3,000 students. So our cost structure, the course fee is $400 per client. Uh, so it's six to 10 students uh, per class. So I'll just say eight to be safe. $400 times eight is $3,200 per course. Um, and in the summer and fall of 2014, we will have hosted eight courses. And in the winter and spring of 2015, we will have hosted 16 courses. So some revenue projections. In the summer and fall of 2014, $25,600 will be the total sales. And in the winter and spring of 2015, we will have a total sales of $51,200. That means that our year one sales will be $76,800. And of that money, 40% will be net profit. Uh, Moral Communications currently has an agreement in principle with Quincy Tutoring. This is a unique partnership where Quincy Tutoring gives some of their clients to more communications, and more communications gives clients back to Quincy Tutoring. Quincy Tutoring also has connections with high schools and youth development programs, so there's potential partnerships there as well. The prize money for this pitch will be used for insurance costs and equipment costs. I will also use it to develop a website and create a logo for the company. Thank you, Paul Bowen and Dr. Lori Giles for helping me with this pitch, and thank you all for coming tonight.